are you looking to rotate a dart in Clo3D? Well today, that's what we're going to be going over. Hi, I'm Christina and I love to digitally apparel pattern creating unique pieces of wearable art. And I'm so excited to show you how to rotate the darts in Clo3D. It's super easy, super simple. So let's dive on in. I'm going to bring up my Clo workspace as well as my size 8 sloper pattern that I already have patterned out. Uh, I am only going to be working with the bodice, so I could delete the skirt if I wanted to, um, but I'm just going to leave it there and move it a little bit out of the way. I am also going to, just going to move that down, I'm going to move my sleeve over that way. I'm only working with the front and back of my darts. I'm also currently only going to work in the 2D today, so we're just going to be rotating some darts and having some fun. And I'm going to just do a quick copy straight paste so that if I want to go back to this original design really fast, I can easily get there uh, without doing too much crazy stuff. And then we can do a couple different ones. So the first thing that you need to know when you are trying to edit a dart in Clo 3D is both of your legs need to be the same length. So right now, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. 5.954 and 5.594. If I was to just move that down just a little bit so that they are uneven, so I now have 5.954 and 6.02. If I try to highlight both of them and um, rotate the dart, you can see when I right click, this other uh, menu pops up and there is no rotate dart section in it. So we can edit the dart from here, we can shape the dart cap, we can do a few things with this dart that is uneven, but we cannot rotate this dart. So we're going to control Z until I get back to them being the same length. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both of them. So I'm either, I'm going to click once, and then I'm going to hold the shift key and click the other. When you are trying to mass select things in many, many different programs, you often have to hold the shift key to click multiple items. No different for here in Clo. Then we can go ahead and do a right click. And, and now we have a rotate dart option in our little right click pop up menu. So I'm going to hit rotate dart and then you have to choose where you want to rotate this dart to. So if I want to take this double dart bodice and put it to a single dart bodice, I would actually click onto the point of that and it gives you this now little option saying that is where our best bus point is. And then as you can see, as I hover over, I can either click on this side of the pattern or I can click on this side of the pattern. You can see which one's highlighted in blue. And that is the pattern piece you are going to select to then rotate. So if I click on this one, this pattern piece is gonna move. If I click on this one, the, that pattern piece is gonna move. So important part. So see now I got it, it is now rotating open or shut. So I can either take the buster away or I can make it all go into the bust. I'm gonna go ahead and make it all go into the bust and I'm going to click and then it gives you up a, another option. So this is now going to set the depth of your dart. So you can go all the way to the bus point, but we know with pattern drafting, you don't want to go all the way out to that bus point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to get close to where that other bus point is. And that's going to have it backed off that bus point just enough that hopefully it won't be messing around with my dart too much. I'm going to click and then magically I now have a bust uh, bus start that is all through that or now I have I changed my double dart bodice into a single dart bodice and it has a bust dart only. Now if I was wanting to change this bust dart to come from say the neckline we can then go ahead and select the two lines, as you can see, they are the correct length. They're still the same. And then we're going to right click, rotate dart. We're going to pick right on the neckline. It's going to give you where on this point do you want to hit. 
I don't want to go right there because like I was saying, I backed off my bus point. And since I actually don't have my bus point mar marked, I'm just going to have to give it a little bit of a guess, a little bit of an eyeball, and hopefully I'll be able to fix it in post. And then what we're going to do, click the side you want to manipulate, and I could either close it all the way, or I could do a uh, turn it back into a double dart bodice, but I'm going to go ahead and just close it all the way. Click, and then again, if I go all the way down, that's right at that bus point. So you want to back up off of that a little bit. So we're going to click there, and boom. We now have a single dart bus line all the way up at for, or from the neckline down to the bus point. I love how quick and easy it is to rotate darts in Clo 3D. Um, it just, you know, you once you get that knack for it and everything, it really helps move it along fast because it just takes a few clicks. Um, we can keep going all the way around, but uh, I highly encourage you to get into Clo, start manipulating some darts. And if you enjoy videos like this, please make sure to like and subscribe so that you can see other fun ways to manipulate patterns in Clo 3D, as well as how to create your own pieces of wearable art. I look forward to seeing you in some of my other videos. Happy patterning!